Hello, I'm Sniper Number Seven. Welcome to Episode Four of Life After United. And if you saw Episode Three, you'll know that we managed to win the title, and we're now in Division Nine. Coming into the first game in Division Nine, we decided we're going to give some of the players who haven't really played many games for the club a chance. Seeing as though it's the first game, we've got plenty of time to get it back if we don't get the win. And as you can see, we come up against a team with seven gold players. I think it is one, two, three. Yep, seven gold players and. A, Inform Gonzalo Higuain, so we were a bit nervous going into this game, especially with the players we had in the team. And as you can see straight away, he goes goes up up the pitch and chips me keeper straight away. But very luckily and thankfully, the referee gives an offside, so it's still nil nil. We move forward. We have a shot from long range with Luke Chadwick. I think that's Luke Chadwick anyway. Goes miles over the bar. We start to get a little bit of a grip of the game. Jack Barnby running through, but he overruns it, doesn't manage to get the shot away. So we've gone into Division 9, like I say, guys, and um, we did try and play a, a bronze classic cup to give these players a, a run out, but we couldn't find any opponents. We'll have to try it at maybe a different time of night as we break through again, but we hit the shot wide, don't quite knock it in. This is probably the only time we got a little bit sloppy during the game. Lucky deflection off the defender and it does go wide. But again, it's not really that sloppy I don't think, but he does manage to, to get through and we're very lucky that the shot doesn't quite quite go on, on target. We pick the ball up in defence here, nice little turn from McCormack. He sees a run, I think it's from Nardiello. It's a great run, knocks a great ball over. This is a bronze player, takes the ball down beautifully. I'd be happy with that if that was Van Persie to be quite honest. Takes it down beautifully, one touch, and then smacks it into the far corner to put us 1-0 up. It might look like it wasn't that deserved after he's had a couple of chances, but as you can see, we're more or less in control of the game. We're straight through again. In the second half, we have a shot, and it's a great save from his keeper. And he does manage to get through a couple of times. This is probably his best chance in the second half, but he tried, I don't know why he tries to chip the keeper when the keeper's there, he's easy to pick it up on the line. And I'm, I don't know, I've edited this video to make my opponent look great, but as you'll see in the match stats at the end of the game, we were more or less in control of this game, and I think you'll actually see a couple of chances that we have better in this in the second half here. It's a great little fake shot and smack right into the top corner from Christopher Fagan. I think he's only 60 rated, but that was an absolutely fantastic finish straight into the top far corner and this is where we start to take proper control of the game now we've got through again with just another we've realised by this point you know, we've, we've scored from two chip through balls basically and he wasn't dealing with it very well we, throughout the series we have scored different kinds of goals chip through balls running with the ball you know power dribbles headers all sorts so you know we're not we're not just a one trip pony we don't just try and <laughs> chip the ball through all the time and we get through again with just this time a ground through ball and it's a terrible finish i think that was from fagan again which is a bit disappointing after the way he cracked that last one in and again we cut him wide open and the chip goes just over the bar we're coming into the last couple of minutes now maybe getting a bit complacent thinking the game's won but again he misses the target Moving into injury time, I think we get one more chance. Bit of a speculative effort, but it would have looked very nice if it had gone in the, into the far corner instead of going over the bar. We get 722 coins to try and improve the squad with. And there, as you can see on the match facts, even though I edited the, edited the game to make it look like he was actually doing quite well, you can see he only had two shots on target. I had more shots, more on target, more possession. So going into the second game, we go with a more of a full strength team. Put Alan Smith in, Zeki Fryer's back in, likes of Van Velzen, John Colfi, Nikia Josie, and Fabian Brandy on the right wing for his full debut. We've come up against another decent team, this time with decent chemistry as well. Aaron Ramsey on loan, Darren Gibson, Jay Rodriguez, Eric Lamella, and Shane Long up front, which was always going to be dangerous. And we're going to get ourselves a bit of a reputation as a, a slow starter in this series, I think, because again, early on, we giving chances away and this time we're punished the highest rated player on the pitch Aaron Ramsey runs through we put a terrible attempt at a tackle in and he's clean through and just smacks it into the bottom corner but straight away from kickoff, 
John Kofi goes on a run. Gets a little bit lucky after the fake shot, but smacks it into the corner to bring us immediately level at one all. I'm quite pleased with that, even though, like I say, we did get a little bit lucky with the turn. But straight away, almost, again, he's clean through, just a simple ball, really poor defending from me. And it's Shane Long who cracks it in. You can't really, you know, Shane Long gives plenty of goal teams problems, so, you know, we were going to have to be very careful against him, especially with this team. And unfortunately, we do give him the chance, and he smacks it into the corner of the net. We're coming up to half time. This is where we actually get a grip on, on the game properly, and we're really pushing to get the equaliser. Fabian Brandy with a power dribble all the way through, and somehow his goalkeeper gets a hand on it. From the resulting corner, it's cleared, and we have a shot. And I thought that was in, but it's hit the stanchion behind the goal. Really unlucky again. We've gone really close in quick succession twice there. John Kofi again, with some nice little skill moves. Obviously, skill moves aren't something that we're going to be using a lot of when we've... I think the highest the highest skill move player we've got is three-star skills. So, basically, at the moment, we're just doing body feints and fake shots and the odd roulette here and there. We get through again. It's another shot. It's another shot on target, but his goalkeeper manages to pay, make the save. It's more or less straight at him. Chadwick's clean through. Tries a finesse shot and somehow manages to get it closer to the corner flag than the goal. We get the ball to Fabian Brandy, a lovely little stop, cuts inside, round another man, lovely bit of dribbling, smack, far corner and it comes off the angle of post and bar, really unlucky again, we've come so close to getting this equaliser three or four times already but it just looks like it's not going to happen. We go through again and how that's not a free kick and maybe even a red card I don't know but at least a free kick. This time it's Nicky Josie with a nice little bit of dribbling. But he doesn't hit the target this time. Not really good enough from me. Can't really blame the player there. And again, another good bit of dribbling. This time the keeper makes the save. And again, I don't know how that's not a penalty. He's, he's just there to knock the rebound in. Get shoved over from behind. And that's probably my opponent's only decent chance in the second half. But we do come away with a defeat. Even though we pushed and pushed for the equaliser. We couldn't get there. 64% possession and 8 shots on target and we come away with a 2-1 defeat but never mind in the, in the previous episodes we've won a, maybe one or two games that we probably didn't deserve to win so I suppose if you're going to give it you've got to be able to take it as well so we've got 3 points from the first 2 games guys we go out and buy the white strip because we can't quite afford the red one yet we go out and buy our first silver player Cameron Stewart to put on the left hand side of the pitch hopefully solve a few chemistry issues as well as improving the squad and we buy Danny Pugh although he says he's a left wing back there we will change him to a left back as soon as we can afford to so now for the first time we've got a hundred chemistry team guys we've got a couple of decent players on the left hand side which we haven't had for the full series and we'll go into the next game in division nine quite confident trying to get the extra points to move us up the table anyway guys this time we were a bit unlucky in the second game, but we'll try and put that right next episode. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you've got any comments to make on the video, please feel free. And sniper out.